hold the elevator what? Hello, everyone. I'm Huxley Prescott, and this is a space elevator designed to ride a cable up beyond the stratosphere, a cable that happens to be a laser beam. Top floor, please. Let's go to our man in the field for a look at the real thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the Asgard. T minus 20 minutes and gallon. With preeminent scientist Professor Baranova ensconced in mission control, the launch appears to be right on schedule. Excuse me, has anyone seen our crew? Frankie, looking forward to that yummy lunch. Daddy, I said it's launch time, not lunch time. You're late. <gasps> oh my. No sandwich, then? My legs don't want to move. But aren't you excited? Sure. In a terrified sort of way. Come on, it's not that big a deal. We've spent tons of time up in space. Of course, we were in stasis pods, unaware of the many dangers directly outside the hull. Good news is, once you're at zero gravity, you can't plummet back down to Earth. No. Oh. Graham, the Asgard is just an elevator. You go up, then down. I get sick riding teeter-totters. Let's get a move on, son. Okay, I'm ready. Someone want to give me a push? T minus one minute and counting. Verify Asgard critical commands. Go for auto sequence. And prepare the laser cable. Airlock seal, initiating laser rate purge. Honest energy diodes are stable. We are making history, folks, and I am giving you a front row seat. Go for main engine start. No, no, hey, too close. Stop. Power up. Oh, that's Twenty seconds. Count. Lost parallel signal. Reciprocal readings at zero. Oh. Synchronize with the 0.3 phase variance. Then transfer to internal reactants. Negative. Can't abort. The camera's causing the laser to overload. If the array blows, it'll destroy the Asgard. Nine, eight, seven. Routine patrol with four bots and stasis. You stay in a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Two others remain robots in disguise. Roll to the rescue. A hero. Airlock doors cannot be opened during launch sequence. We're trapped. Back to our seats. Buckle up tight. Rescue bots. Strong 
Are they all right? Checking. There's no damage to the ship. Well, what about the harness energy integrity of the laser? It's stable. Frankie, if I see any problems, I promise I'll bring the Asgard right down. Okay. Keep us posted, Professor. Come on, Frankie. We put a telescope on the firehouse roof. I can't shake the feeling that I've forgotten something. Hmm. I hope it's not important. You hope? How are you feeling, Graham? Oh, like blades when Danny's piloting. Well, don't worry. I suspect that the higher we go, the better you... Huh? Hold breach warning! No, no, no. It's only the artificial gravity kicking in. But that felt like we're losing traction with the laser. Just slight turbulence as we pass into the mesosphere. We'll be there soon, Graham. Then the fun begins. A whole week of tests and research. Oh, a week? Was that? Gable termination lock. We're here. I, it's, it's so... I've never... Wow. Couldn't have said it better myself. Difficult to believe that we're still connected to Griffin Rock, 140 miles below us. That's over 739,000 sandwiches stacked end to end. <laughs> Now I remember what I forgot. Airsick bags. <laughs> but I suppose my lunch bag will work just as well. I should have gone with Graham and Doc. Who's going to protect them if something else goes wrong? Shh. Frankie's worried enough as it is. Boulder's right. What were we thinking? Civilians shouldn't be messing around up there. But the whole idea of the Asgard is to give scientists easy access to space. In any event, adding a rescue bot to the mission would not have guaranteed the crew's protection. Why do you say that? We've kind of sort of never actually performed a space rescue before. Really? We trained for shipboard rescues, but never had the chance to do one. Which is good. I kind of sort of flunked that part of the training. <gasps> I see it! Look! The Asgard! Man, I wish I was up there. What's that? Meteor. Big one, too. Daddy's been tracking that meteor for weeks. It's not on course to go anywhere near the Asgard. It's headed for something. Zoom in on that, Frankie. That appears to be a cluster of asteroids. Is that bad? Um, not necessarily. Let's see. The greenhouse pod checks out. Laboratory pod. Storage. And living quarters. Everything is stable. And that means... We did it! Oh, phase one is thankfully over. Uh, before we begin phase two, let's go raid the kitchen. Somehow, I missed lunch. Oh, what do you know? I'm kind of getting an appetite myself. Oh, I, I know this one. A <laughs> little ice forming on the hull, right? No! Imminent impact alarm. Pod, but the Asgard's interior pressure remains stable. We're retracting the laser cable now. Have you reached them? No, their comm signals are down. Professor, how long will it take before they land? 
At least 30 minutes. Now what? Debris from the severed pod is coming down over the island. Cody, you and Frankie get to the command center. Direct us to where that debris is falling. Okay, Dad, we're on it. Computer, calculate points of impact. <gasps> Looks like five of the pieces are going to hit the island. But with only four rescue bots. Dad, Chase, get to Chaucer Street and Willow. On our way. Kate, Heatwave, the marina. Got it. Boulder, the zoo. Sure thing, Cody. Danny, Blades, two chunks of debris are headed for the drive-in. Two? How are we? We'll handle it. Power up and energize. You have just been foamed. I know you'd thank me if you could. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Are you trying to catch that thing? Nah, but you might want to hang on. You are safe now. Okay, next time, we get a foam cannon. Are you sure this is going to work? Of course not. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Spin! I didn't know this movie was in 3D. It's fantastic. If I had a highlight reel, that would definitely be on it. With a slow-mo replay. Woo! We did it! Yes! We're all clear. Good job. Thanks, everyone. Now let's get to the launch pad and welcome home our weary travelers. Where are they? The asteroids must have knocked the Asgard off the laser cable. But that means... Daddy? This is mission control to the Asgard, do you, Reed? I repeat, mission control to the Asgard. But you're the space agency. Are you telling me you don't have a ship available? Five days? Can the space agency Somebody rescue Somebody has them? to have a ship. What'd they say? I'll even fly their ship myself. Looks like we're on our own. Rescue bots? Understood. We're still leaking oxygen. There. I've shut it down. But the oxygen generator is damaged. How much air do we have left? About 30 minutes. Should we take turns breathing? Navigation. We launch in five. Perhaps.
helps, we can build an air scrubber to absorb carbon dioxide and replenish the O2. No, there's, there's just no time, Doc. Then we need to buy time until rescue efforts can reach us. You're right. I'm thinking like a victim. I'm a rescuer. You want an air scrubber, Doc? We have over 800 of them in the greenhouse pod. The plants, of course. The photosynthetic process provides the greenhouse with plenty of oxygen. Ah, sometimes I just don't see the forest for the trees. We'll be fine in here until help comes. Let's look for fruit trees. I missed lunch and dinner. Pre-flight diagnostics complete. Course laid in. All systems green for launch. Rescue bots, rocket to the rescue. Cody? Uh, did we just launch? Cody? Why are you here and not down there? Did you stow away? If so, I am disheartened. I didn't do it on purpose. I was just bringing you a first aid kit for Doc and Grim, and then whoosh! Now I'm an astronaut. And now I'm your spacesuit. Climb in. No time to go back. Still cool. I'll alert the chief. Graham, is there any oxygen left in the other pods? None. That dome has a crack in it. And it appears to be spreading. They may only have minutes left. Boulder, move us closer. I'll go get him. Noble! Cody, forgot about you. No way am I gonna... I'll be fine. We have to hurry. <sighs> then buckle up. Looks like you're going on a spacewalk. <laughs> Ugh, tether line's jammed! You'll have to make the jump without it. You can do it. Just go! didn't. I may have missed that day. We're adrift. I don't have any propulsion. Wait a minute. Sure you do. Look, here they come.
Hello, my little homing beacon. Welcome back, son. Thanks, Dad. You had us worried. Not gonna make this a habit or nothing, but give me a hug. Uh, it's okay, you don't have to... <laughs> okay. And as for you, my accidental astronaut... Sorry, Dad. Heat wave kept me safe. Great job, <laughs> team! Yeah, Outstanding! Oh, what about Professor Baranova? How will we explain all this? Just tell her you came home the old-fashioned way. Splashdown. That's our story, and we're sticking to it. Kind of nice flying the old bird again, wasn't it? Perhaps we'll get the opportunity to use her again someday. Maybe, but nothing beats rolling to the rescue on good old terra firma. Earth? because Griffin Rock has dolphin fever. Hello, everyone. I'm Huxley Prescott, and this is opening day of the Dolphin Wonder Festival. Sir, I had no idea Griffin Rock possessed this many licensed drivers. A lot of visitors, Chase. They come over on the ferry. First day of the festival is always like this. I must admit, I fail to see the appeal of watching identical sea mammals swim past the island. I just hope it turns out better than last year. Hardly any dolphins showed up. <laughs> the mayor resorted to wearing a dolphin suit to keep the tourists from leaving. He made little kids cry. We're now here at the marina, where I spy with my little eye a glint of sunlight, a clump of seaweed, or maybe the first dolphin of the festival. on it. and 
Rescue Robots, only here in Griffin Rock. I'm Huxley Prescott. More cars. I really shouldn't be leaving. Oh, go have fun, Dad. We'll be fine. We can take care of ourselves. Please stay! The last time Cade was in charge, he made us wax the garage floor. Nothing wrong with seeing your reflection when you look down. Well, my reflection. Don't worry, Chief. We can handle anything the festival or Cade can throw at us. I only wish I could accompany you to the Peace Officers Conference. It sounds most informative. Yeah, but always way too long. Nevertheless, please take copious notes. Kids, since Doc and Frankie are out of town, I've asked someone to keep an eye on things. That's code for babysitter, isn't it? Oh, believe me, he's no babysitter. Hello, family of heroes. Uncle Woodrow. Welcome back. I thought you were on safari. Wait, is this Grandpa's old convertible? <laughs> the old jalopy itself. He had some fun joyriding around in this old tuna boat, didn't we, Charlie? Uh, best car ever. Indeed. And how are my favorite humans and aliens? Excuse me, uh, aliens, eh? A little louder. The rest of the island didn't hear you. What? You're still keeping that a secret around here? Yes, and so are you. Oh, gotcha. But hey, Cybertronians, let's chat later, huh? I want to hear more about your world and your culture. We'd love to. The festival will be keeping everyone plenty occupied. And I expect Cody and I will be running the joint, right? <laughs> Woodrow, we talked about this. <laughs> Just kidding, Charlie. I won't participate in the rescues. Hey, I'm not official. Did you bring us any cool gifts, Uncle Woodrow? From my safari? Dry roasted beetles. You can't eat just one. I'll take your word for it. Well, that's my cue. I'll see you all next week. Bye, Dad. We'll see be you fine, soon, Charlie. We'll miss you. Have fun, Dad. Since I can't be seen without a driver, I will be walking home. Care to join me, Cody? Nah, little Chief is cruising it old school with his uncle, right? You bet. See you at home, Chase. Of course. Enjoy the jalopy ride. Uh, this is Chase's spot. Ah, he won't mind. Besides, I need to get into the kitchen. I have big plans for dinner. Cool. What you fixing? Baked hackalooey. A little recipe I picked up in the Calliope rainforest. What's in it? A cornucopia of ingredients. But since you didn't have any eggs from the Wampu fruit dove, I had to improvise. Yeah, <laughs> smells like feet. Graham's feet. Tastes pretty good. Got a kick uh, to it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Told you those roasted beetles were yummy. You're dripping oil, aren't you? This ought to be far enough. Now, let's get this over with. I have serious doubts these beacons will attract dolphins to the island, sir. The ad said they emit the whooshing sound of a swimming squid. Dolphins like squid, what could go wrong? You bought them at a flea market, Mayor, with a coupon. Look, it's this, or you're wearing that dolphin costume. Um, let's check the directions. <laughs> check the directions. No need. The beacons are water activated. Yeah, with dolphins chasing these little wonders around the island, tourists will be here all week. <laughs> Says here to release one every 50 feet to avoid interference with boat operations. Time is of the essence, Mr. Alper. Come on.
I need a ride to school, Uncle Woodrow. Most of the time, I just take my hoverboard. No trouble at all, little chief. Gives me a chance to drive Chase. How you doing anyway, Chase? Fine, sir. Exactly how long will you and your car be in town? Emergency dispatch. Help! My yacht is on a collision course with the South Shore! <gasps> We're coming, Mr. Mayor. Team, the Mayor's yacht is about to crash into the beach. We have to respond, Uncle Woodrow. Hot dog! I'm on a rescue! Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Attention, please evacuate the beach immediately. Kaboom! Hurry! Go, go, go! My balloon! It's moving way too fast! It looks like the yacht is gonna hit before you guys get here. Danny, listen. Remember the game you used to play with your dolls and toy boats down by the creek? Yeah, why bring that up? Blades can be the ramp. Be, be the, the what? what? Be the what? I think it'll work, Danny. Hurry. Oh, boy. What? Oh, boy. You know I don't like oh, boys. Drop into the surf blades and convert to bot mode. Oh. Now, fall forward and prop yourself up. Oh, boy. Ugh. All the hair-brained ideas. Hey, it worked. Here's... Someone is getting a medal for this. It's a water beacon, all right. Advertised as a dolphin lure. I wonder if the mayor was dropping those in the ocean. Wouldn't put it past him. Doesn't seem right making dolphins go where they don't want to. <laughs> and according to our own emergency responders, credit for this morning's Daring rescue belongs to Woodrow Burns. Good job, Uncle Woodrow. Yeah, yeah, no more. <laughs> Therefore, until the return of Chief Burns, I am naming Woodrow temporary acting chief of Griffin Rock. I love Uncle Woodrow, but there's no way he's telling us how to do our jobs. Chief Woodrow, your reaction. <laughs> I'm speechless. Mayor, how about a few words? Though I am reminded of the time I was made honorary tribal leader for the tree people of Tatui. I was then expected to jump into an active volcano as a sacrifice to the lava gods. Whoa! I guess Uncle Woodrow is now official. Chase, I'm ready. Uh, ready for what, sir? Well, what does Charlie usually do? The chief can often be found working in the command center. Typically not wearing someone else's clothing. Danny, some dolphin balloons are tangled in the wind turbines and- You know, Danny, once when trying to get coconuts from a tall tree, I used a high-powered crossbow and- Uh, thanks, Uncle Woodrow. We'll just climb up. Kate! Reports of a grease fire in one of the festival food trucks. Whoa! Can't put water on a grease fire, Cade. Graham, get Boulder to bury the entire food truck with sand. What? We're equipped to handle grease fires, Unc. Thanks, though. <laughs> Uncle Woodrow, maybe you... Allow me. Emergency dispatch. What? Don't worry, I'll be right there. Take over, Cody. Chase and I are needed. A man's been trapped in a tree for over three hours. Poor Mr. Pennypaws. <laughs> but Uncle Woodrow, he's not a... He belongs to... I guess you'll figure it out.
All clear. No breakfast. Oh, darn. I was looking forward to Uncle Woodrow's fried lizard tail omelets. I wonder where he is. Probably dabbing antiseptic and all the cat scratches he got from Mr. Pettypaws. <laughs> 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 Come on, guys. Un Uncle Woodrow, w w we didn't mean that... No, it's okay, kids. I, I know I get carried away. I guess... It just felt good being a part of this family. And don't worry, I'll stay out of the rescues. Well, nice one, guys. What? You're, You're the one who... Paid. Rescue team, we have an outright dolphin disaster on our hands. How can we have a festival of our main attractions are stranded upriver in the wetlands? Those dolphins won't survive like that much longer. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Uncle Woodrow, come on! No, I promised to stay out of the way. Kay, Danny, and Graham were just goofing around. I'll be fine, Cody. But Chase needs a driver, right, Chase? That is correct, unless I want to walk, which I do not. <laughs> if you insist. Rescue bot, roll to the rescue! Uh, only Heatwave says that. Oh, sorry. For some reason, the dolphin swam upriver here, then doubled back down into the wetlands here. I don't get it. Why can't they just swim back out? I imagine they're scared and confused. That, I get. More beacons. They must have made a wrong turn and ended up here. And the dolphins followed them. Such beautiful creatures. We have to do something. We will. Better hurry. Dolphins can easily overheat out of the water. We'll grab those beacons. Bots, carry the dolphins over that berm to the river. The current will take them back out to sea. Got it. Let's move. Sorry about all this, fella. these dolphins free before we run out of time. Like we have other options. I do have an idea. Uh, no offense, Unc, but... We need to do something. Uncle Woodrow, what do you have in mind? Well, if we can raise the water level, I think I can convince the dolphins to leap back into the river on their own. Convince the dolphins? Yeah, I used to communicate with the species quite a lot while exploring the Marshall Islands. Well, even if you could, Uncle Woodrow, how would we raise the water? Good news is, the wetlands are drained by only two outlets. And all we'd have to do is block those up, right? I say it's worth a try. All right, let's do it. I would like to see a certain convertible jalopy do that. Heatwave, bullhorn, please. This I gotta see. I'm a little rusty, but here goes. Come on, swim Just this way. Jump on over, dolphin. You can do it. The dams are failing. Ugh. Why isn't this working? I should have known better. Wait, Uncle Woodrow, you said you talked to the dolphins in the Marshall Islands. That's in the Pacific Ocean. Don't they have different dolphins there? 
Yes! I'm speaking Pacific white-sided dolphin, not Atlantic. <laughs> They're actually listening to him. I want to speak dolphin. Woodrow, don't ever think you're not part of this family. Only a Burns could pull something like that off. Now I see why people come out here to watch him. I want a dolphin. Well, maybe just one of those balloons? <laughs> the festival is saved. Uh, yeah, Mr. Alper, you can change now. Mmm, homemade pizza. The perfect welcome home feast. Thanks for fixing it, Woodrow. I love cooking for my family. Mm. 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 No hint mm. of feet at all. I realize my culinary choices are kind of unusual. Once you get past first impressions, they're not so bad, are they? <laughs> Maybe kind of like me. That's my brother, an acquired taste. Mmm, this really is good. And some people don't think bat milk cheese is very tasty. <laughs> Kidding! Ever try milking a bat? They're very moody. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't really bat milk cheese, is it? Yeah. Although I will have to clean up your oil spot, you have safeguarded your humans. For that, you have my respect. Take care of everyone, little chief. Bye, Uncle Woodrow. Thanks again. So long, huh? Safe travels. See the postcard. Policing the dock area, an excellent opportunity to explore the intricacies of maritime law. <laughs> Not today, Chase. We're just here to escort a shipment from the government over to Doc's la la ah! lab. Score, bro. New tech for the taking. How about a little sound wave distraction? <laughs> yeah. Hang on, Mr. Buddy. Cease and desist your larceny. seem to be experiencing fluid leakage. Nothing to worry about. I've just caught a little bug. <sighs> Shall I roll down my window so you may release it? That cop car's running a little sluggish. Bet it needs oil. Nice drive. I do not understand, Chief. Perhaps if you could say it and not spray it. 
Tech thievery, juvenile pranks. Looks like our old friends Evan and Miles are back on Griffin Rock. We'd better... <laughs> Get me home. Dad's sick with the flu. No rescues for him for a while. Ooh, there is an upside. With Dad out of commission, the next oldest Burns, namely me, assumes command. Great. I second Cody's sarcasm. What does it mean to be sick with the flu? I got sick the first time I flew. Perhaps this handbook on human illness will enlighten us. Flu symptoms include exhaustion, fever, and a running nose. <laughs> a running nose? They can't even walk. Can they? In other words, a sick human is less productive. On the contrary, Chief was quite productive of a substance known as mucus. I collected a sample if you would like to see. Ew, human. No thanks, Chase. What's wrong with you? I'll take a look. Attention, team. Got our first emergency with me in charge. Ruptured gas line downtown. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Huh? I wanted to say that. Hi, Kate. I figured since Dad's out sick, I could ride with Chase. That way you'll have a full team and... <laughs> Sorry, Squirt, but to ride on this rescue, you need to be this tall. Oh, too slow. Just because I'm not big doesn't mean I can't help. Actually, it does. A rescue like this takes size and strength. i tell you what, we'll arm wrestle for it. Deal. Why are we wasting time with games? We have an emergency. Two seconds, Heat. Ready? Set. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, he's getting me. Oh, hi. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> you lose. Listen up, heat wave, you... Put out those fires, good. Chase, set up barricades. As per standard procedure. Graham and Boulder, you're on gas main repair. Kate, you don't have to try to be dad. We know what we're doing. If that was true, you'd know I want a two mile perimeter clear of pedestrians right now. Copy that, Captain Cranky Pants. <laughs> Cranky Pants, good one. <laughs> Gas fire. You need I to- I know. Power up and energize. So what's your assignment? Duh, I'm the leader. Cody, you're just in time to help us assemble the stasis machine. Or attempt to. Chief informed me that thieves absconded with part of the shipment. What's a stasis machine do? If it works right, nothing. Precisely. Stasis is the absence of activity. This device is designed to freeze an object in time and space. Like the pause button on a DVR. In a manner of speaking, think of the stasis machine as a molecular refrigerator. Aging stops for objects exposed to its ray. Imagine the possibilities. With this technology, bananas could stay ripe for years and years. And someday, through the science of stasis, humans might no longer grow old. An extended lifetime of eating ancient bananas? Yum. There does seem to be a part missing. The remote is powered up. <laughs> ah! <coughs> Cody, you all right? <coughs> yeah, fine. I'm not so sure about that. Whoa, that machine shrunk you guys. On the contrary. You, uh, might want to... Fascinating. Weird. Noble. Uh, Dad? That's not stasis. Quite right. It's only half of stasis. This machine appears to have two parts. One that ages and one that reverses aging. When complete, these two forces balance each other, 
creating stasis. So this is what I'll look like someday. How old do you think I am now, Doc? 25, 30? And how tall? Like six feet? Ow! Closer to six, too. What do you think of my stash? Looks like a moldy caterpillar. Dad, you have to change him back. Would that I could, my young Tesla. I suspect the stolen piece of this machine could reverse Cody's uh, growth spurt. So, as long as the tech's missing, Cody's stuck like that? Is this awesome or what? Perhaps not. If I could invert the polarity. Ah, no hurry. Yes, hurry. Oh, I can't wait for Kate to see me now. Being bigger rules. Oh. <laughs> Gravity has a few rules of its own. This thing's for kids anyhow. See ya. Alt, interloper. <laughs> Relax, Chase. It's me, Cody. Identification confirmed. However, your appearance and tonal transmissions have changed drastically. Not to mention my bedtime. Cody, what happened? You have a lip warmer like Chief. I believe it is called a sneeze guard, or in some jargons, a crumb catcher. Was that inside your nose the whole time? Forget the mustache, guys. Look at me. Bigger, stronger, I've turned into an adult. Yeah, transform into a truck, then we'll talk. Come on. Haven't you bots ever wished you were taller? I have enough difficulty with low overpasses as it is. Cody, when you're our size, a few extra human feet doesn't make much of a difference. It's more than height. Now I'm an official grown-up. Wait, does this mean no more lad pioneers? No need. Adults get to have real adventures. Grown-up Cody, this could take some getting used to. Guess who? Cody, grow up. Um, he already did? He had, what? Incredible, as long as it's temporary. It is temporary, right? Not sure. What, hey! This is where you guys have been hiding the leftover Halloween candy? You look older than us. Ha, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Ooh, too slow. Oh, nice. You've gone from Pip Squeak to Pip Freak. I've gone from being smaller than you to being taller than you. Emergency dispatch. We're on our way. A rocket crashed downtown. Just another Saturday in Griffin Rock. Rescue bots, get your tailpipes and gear. We have a situation. I'll ride with Chase. And you can't say I'm not big enough this time. <laughs> that was your rule, Cade. Technically, you could even argue that Cody appears to be the oldest, making him team leader. Tell you what, I'll arm wrestle you for it. Oh, real mature. Chase, is this awesome or what? It is a new experience. Your selection of music is much more dissonant than Chief's. I fail to understand why increased body mass inspires such joy. You don't get it because you've never been small. Being big means you get to do more cool stuff. Such as? Such as beating Kate to a mission. Uh, can I try parking? Certainly. First, check your blind spot. Then... <laughs> What took you? That can't be government issue. It's a Mr. Cullen issue. Amateur astronomer. Looks like his latest launch didn't. Those poles are about to give. We need to move the rocket now. There are 200 pounds of fuel in its tank. If we jostle the payload, it could ignite. An unchecked explosion that size could cause a lot of damage. Blades and I can snag the rocket with a grapple and carry it out to the ocean. Problem solved. Good. Danny, you go! No! It's tangled. If you pull on it, the power lines might spark and boom! Well, do you have a better idea? Yes! First we shut off the juice to the lines, then we move the rocket. That's what I would suggest. Okay, Cody, the power switch is located at the top of those poles. Heatwave, may I please use your ladder? 
Oh, now he's not only taking charge, he's ordering around my bot. More like asking politely. You should try it sometime. I'll do it, Kate. I'm not sure you're tall enough to reach. <sighs> you may be a fireman, but I think you just got burned. <laughs> We're ready for you, Blades. No, we are ready. You're going to clear a perimeter and get those looky-loos a safe distance away. But I... You don't like the job, go home. Oh. All right, everyone, I need you to um, step back for your safety, and you have to listen to me because I'm an adult. Really. I've never seen you in town before. Are you part of the Bruins family too? Haley, it's me, Cole. Oh, uh, Cole, Cade's cousin. Yeah, filling in for my dad, I mean chief, while he's out with the flu. Well, it's nice of you to lend Cade a hand. Huh. Ah! Danny, hurry! The rocket's fuel tank is separating from the fuselage. We're losing it! Incoming! Take cover! You saved my life. You... Haley, are you... I'm fine, thanks to Cole. You never told me about your cousin, Cade. Where have you been hiding him? in much smaller clothes. Can I take you to lunch? I don't need anybody to take me. I can drive. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I know, Annie. Will you excuse us? Go home. You may look all grown up, but you're still just a kid. You don't belong here. You're just mad because you can't push me around anymore. Care to test that theory? <clears throat> I am not certain Chief would condone this course of action. I'm all for power struggles. After we finish the task at hand. Come on, Chase. Kate can handle this without us. I kind of miss the old Cody. The young Cody. Hey, Frankie. Want to hang out? Uh, I can't. I'm still helping Dad. This is test banana number 17. I clearly need to recalculate my data. You go, Frankie. Have fun. You're only young once. Uh, so to speak. Yeah. Oh, denied. Ooh. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. Ah, I'm craving you. That's great. Look, I ought to go back and check on Dad. Thanks for coming over. See you later. Excuse me. Shall I join you in your toss the orb through the ring contest? No, you're way bigger than me. Wouldn't be much fun. Hmm. Perhaps that is what Francine was feeling as well. Oh, great. Cade thinks I'm a big kid, and Frankie doesn't want to hang out with a grown-up. I just want to go back to normal. Okay, check it out. We find a way in. Nab the rest of that stasis machine, and we're golden. Cops can't catch you if they're frozen in place. Uh-huh. Halt, perpetrators! Seriously? Do you not have a robot donut shop to be at? <laughs> Looks like we found that way in. Another Burns kid? How big is that family? Better question. How many friends do they have? Here, Trex, intruders! <laughs> Come in, rescue team. Chase and I are tailing Evan and Miles. Request backup. Yeah, listen, Cole. 
I don't care what size you are, you're still a kid. You don't get to request anything. I'm chasing the thieves who have the machine that'll change me back to normal. On our way. Are you familiar with the human known as Miranda? Chase, look out! <laughs> yeah, once we hijack the ferry to the mainland, we're home free. Joyride's over! Time for a field test. <laughs> Chill. We'll lose him on foot. Where's Kate? Is he hit? Is it bad? Yes, but somehow very fitting. No! Go on. Say something. You know you want to. I know how you feel, Kate. How am I supposed to explain this to Haley? I thought you said she likes kids. Heatwave, Chase. Go around to the back of the warehouses. Kate and I will flush out Evan and Miles. You sure you want me along? So you lost some height. You still have all your emergency response training, right? Doi. Then you're a part of this team. Here, don't want to hurt your widow head. <clears throat> oh. Cody, can I borrow some clothes? Here, bro. Maybe you need this more than me. Oh, six foot two has disadvantages. Hope you brought your baby blankie. You're messing with the wrong family, punk. <laughs> <laughs> What's the squirt think he's gonna do? Who are you calling Squirt? <laughs> now! You want this? Dive! No! Jail Cell Express, fellas. Can we dunk them in the ocean first? Blades? Just their feet? <laughs> Look, Code, I... I might act like a jerk to you sometimes, but it's only because... He wants to protect you. And the reason you act like a jerk to me is... Tradition. I should have the stasis machine fully operational within the hour. Best three out of four. <sighs> Fever's broken and I'm finally feeling like myself again. I think I'll go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs>